Hello, my name is Judy Vitale. This is your weekly horoscopes at work forecast for October 10th through 16th, 2016. It's a very special day, October 10th. It's my son's birthday. Happy birthday, Dave. Hey, hey. Okay. This week we have a full moon. The full moon will take place on Sunday, October 16th, my friend Deb's birthday. <laughs> At 12.23 a.m., it'll be in the sign of Aries. Expect a lot of activity around that full moon. Aries is, is just like the energy of spring, remember? So um, even though it's fall time, we can get that energy of spring through the magic of the full moon. So celebrate that. Let's go through the rest of the week, day by day. On Monday, we have the moon in Aquarius beginning at 2.33 a.m. And uh, this will give Monday the spirit of group cooperation. So if you have a group project, a team meeting, or whatever kind of thing you're doing, which involves collaboration and also any kind of um, sporting activity, but especially things that are community-oriented, Monday is an excellent day for it. Tuesday, that Aquarius moon goes void, of course, at 7.49 p.m., but not before we have Mercury in conjunction with Jupiter in Libra, which will give people a sense of optimism and hope, but perhaps to an extreme, due to the fact that Mars will be in a sextile with Neptune. This could create um, people kind of putting pie-in-the-sky ideas up there and also sort of trying to sell articles that they can't really deliver. So be careful on Tuesday about who you believe. Wednesday, which is the solemn day of Yom Kippur, and I hope that those who are celebrating have a, a good fast on that day. We have the moon going into Pisces at 8.43 a.m., there are no aspects between the moon and the other planets on Wednesday, so expect a nice, quiet, and kind of solemn day, a, a great day for being spiritual. Whether or not you're celebrating the holiday, you can just sort of stare out into infinity and remind yourself of the connection that you have to the divine power inside yourself. So, on Thursday, uh, the Pisces moon continues with a very special union with the planet Neptune at 1.16 a.m., where it lines up not only in terms of where they are tracking through the zodiac, but also in terms of latitude. So they're very, very strongly placed together. This is a great day for imagination. And again, now we have Mercury playing with Mars on uh, Thursday. So that is a, a little bit of assertion of those imaginative ideas. It could possibly tie into some of the things that were going on Tuesday that could have been slightly de um, deceptive, but it could also simply be a moment of creativity and wonder. So that could be great. Friday, uh, we have the moon going void, of course, at 3.13 a.m. and then going into the sign of Aries for the full moon at 11.06 a.m. Mercury in a nice sextile to Saturn could make Friday a really awesome work day. Good for organiza organization and for gathering our thoughts and communicating them clearly to others. Saturday, lots and lots of excitement. Even though it's not quite the full moon yet, but I might add, you know, when I say that the full moon is on Sunday, that's Eastern time. You Pacific people and anybody who is west of there, you're going to have uh, the, the full moon on Saturday night. So you're going to feel this on Saturday. So the first thing we have is the sun and Uranus in opposition. So, oh my gosh, there's going to just be a lot of nervous energy, agitation, restlessness, that sort of thing. And then we'll have Mercury square Pluto as well. So... People will be very fervent about expressing their restlessness. So um, if you have, you're have on the receiving end of one of these expressions of how things must change absolutely now, try not to uh, take them too personally. People just need to express themselves, and all things can always be negotiated, especially while the sun is in Libra. Sunday's full moon will take place at 12.23 a.m. Eastern Time. And like we said, the full moon in Aries, you can expect a lot of activity. But remember, again, that this is activity when you have a full moon. It's things coming to a culmination. So honor that which you've completed over the last few weeks. And also uh, just to, to honor the fact that this is a whole new beginning. This is the, the uh, full moon that comes in the fall. This is the Jewish New Year's full moon. And so celebrate all of the joy of the Jewish New Year while you're at it. So um, if anybody would like to see me during the week of October 10th, I will be available on Thursday the 13th at Green Arras from uh, 2.30 onward. You can contact me directly or you can go to greenarrasholistichealth.com and check out the website. There's a whole bunch of great stuff going on there. 
I am going to be having a workshop that evening, as a matter of fact, at Green Arrows on Thursday, October 13th, The Ways Astrology Works. And we'll be talking about all the fun things that you can do just by knowing about astrology. And then on Friday, I'll be at Journeys of Life from 1 to 5. And all the rest of the time, you can contact me for an individual reading um, or a coaching session or hypnotherapy session. Just find me at Judy, J-U-D-I, at readthestars.com.